this is how we're going. And like I said, heads are going to roll tomorrow. All right. So we're working with our new wreath attachment. This is a truck. It's a personalized truck, so we can put your name in there for you. This comes already made up. It's just like a sign. It's made on sublimation board. Okay? So what we're going to actually do, now this, this can be put in a wreath. It could be hung on its own, or it can be attached to a door round. We're going to be doing it this way tonight. We're going to be attaching it to a door round. Now to do that, I've put two holes in the wood. So I'm going to line those holes up. And then we are going to use the tape to go ahead and put this through. How many of you watched me the first time I moved, Mevo went live all by itself? <laughs> I mean, my gosh. I am done with Restream. So you might want to keep an eye out because I may start only going live on YouTube. Because this is not working. None of it is. All right, so we're going to pull this through because I'm going to actually use this to hold it onto the door hanger. We're going to add some hearts down here. We're going to do a bow, and I'm thinking we may be able to get away with the smaller bow um, holder that we have. I think this is too big, so I think we are going to go with the smaller one. Hello, Brooklyn. How are you? All right. So for this, we go in and pull up. And I need my pliers. This is our button bow holder. Okay. And then we are going to go down in because what we want to do is we want to be able to create a loop up here and that's what you use to hang it on the door okay and we're going to come back in now what i want to see is just how even we have this and then we go back in and pull from the back. Come on. There we go. Okay, so it's going to be up like that. So we're going to want to come this way through the back and out the front. And we're going to pull this just a little bit tighter because I want to make sure that we are straight. We can always adjust if we're not. Isn't our little gnome cute? There is an artist that I found and she draws her own designs and I just love them. And we actually, I actually added her another one of her designs on the tire there. The license plate says Happy Valentine's Day. Now I need my scissors. And so there we go. Now, you can always buy this and, like I said, attach it to a wreath. Or you could make this just the door hanger. Or you can go ahead and buy this and this out of my shop. Or you can buy just this and go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's and get around that way. So, I'm giving you lots of options. Now, I want to do these down here, and I'm thinking more or less like that. So, I'm thinking I'm going to paint this one red also, like I did this one. But this one, the other little one, 
I'm going to go with a peach. Something that matches that other um, color in there. So that's what we're doing. We'll get these set up. I'm going to go according to the green and just use my paint marker. I need to get in focus for you. And I will try before my live on Wednesday to have this corrected because I switched my Facebook account back to the classic Facebook because that's what Mevo told me to do and all it did was lose all my pictures and there was nothing in there from the last six months maybe of postings so I am going to do some checking around this is the Posca paint markers and it looks now I'm going to have to color this a little bit brighter because these look pretty close so Yeah, evidently my Mevo started on its own today and filmed for about an hour and a half. So I don't know what everybody heard. I was watching my grandson. He probably pushed the button on my phone. So I don't know. Now, just in case any of the back shows... I'm going to go ahead and do the back too. Hello, Catherine. Hi, Billy from Georgia. Welcome. <laughs> were, were any of you on the first time my Mevo went live by itself? My restream is not working, so we couldn't get on YouTube. So here we are from my iPad. Hello. All right. Now, whenever I use the diaper wipes, I always use a rubber glove because I end up with paint in my fingernails and everywhere. And for those just jumping on, hey Lillian, how are you? Good to see you. Yes, he is a wreath attachment or a door hanger. So, he, this is about 10 by 9. I'm just kind of showing you what he'd look like in a wreath. But... And next week we're going to be doing Love Shack. So hopefully we can get Mevo, Restream, or YouTube, or whatever, everybody work in unison here and get this done. And these are kind of like a, not a real dark red, it's, and, and these are kind of peach in color to match his legs, his pants. Thank you. How many watched me the first time my Mevo went live on its own? This is the easiest way to paint. No cleaning up of brushes afterwards. You just throw them in the trash. And with this, you can even go ahead and kind of... Um, make it lighter or darker however you want do y'all have a nice Christmas and a happy new year I hope you did there we go now the the coloring on the back here what I did was I painted this white 
Then I painted, after that dried, I painted it black and I kind of pulled most of the black off. Then I went ahead and used the one I use all the time, this home decor wax. This stuff is awesome. So, and then I'm going to color this one the same color. Have any of you ever painted with uh, diaper wipes? I hope. Hey, Mary. Welcome. They're really easy to paint with. And like I said, it, you can kind of control the coloring. Now, because I'm going to put these one on top of the other, I kind of don't want the white on the bottom to show. Okay, I need to go a little bit darker with that. Or tone that down some. So I'll try and go a little darker, and then if that doesn't work, then we're going to tone it down. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go just a shade darker. See, and the way you get it a shade darker is you just keep layering it on there. I needed gloves on this hand too, didn't I? See, I kind of like that. And it does match that. So we did three swipes on this with the diaper wipe to get it the color we wanted. So, so now I need to clean the other hand. And then we should be ready to kind of put this together. In fact, I got these wipes at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. They're Fisher Price. They're paraffin free, alcohol free, and chlorine free. So they're working pretty good for painting. All right. I kind of ripped the top of it, so I needed to put it in that baggie to keep it keep it nice and wet, not dried out. All right, now, one thing I always do, and they have these at the Dollar Tree, and I bought them, and now I can't find them, but I always put one of these on the back. This is a felt chair pad, and they're kind of sticky on the back. And I do that, and I even do that with any that I sell, I put it on the back, okay, and that keeps it from scratching your door. They're very inexpensive. So, that's one way of doing it. Then, I'm going to take my stick fast, the CA thick, not the thin, the CA thick, and I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom here because I don't want this flapping up and down. So, let's go ahead and adjust this, get this in place, and then do that. <coughs> and then, excuse me, I use my antique irons as paperweights. I guess we're only gonna have one on there. I'll go ahead and use my, did you guys pick one of these up at Hobby Lobby last week? These are the little bubblegum machines, and they were on sale last week for like three something. We're going to be using these a lot in our, um, oh, here's my other iron, and some of the um, clear trays that we're going to be doing. <coughs> so I'm going to have a video on how to, how to um, paint that. Let me just make sure we've got this in the right place. Yep, we do. <coughs> Excuse me. So while we're doing that one, let's go ahead and glue these on so they'll be pretty well glued by the time we get ready to finish. So I'm going to put one there. 
And then I'm going to put one here. Just kind of want to make it look a little 3D. And one there. Actually, let's move these around a little. There. Yep. This back one isn't sticking, so let's put that on there. Come on now. Don't mess with me. YouTube and Restream have already messed with me today. And Amiibo. Alright, so that's that. Now, what I picked out... I definitely want to go ahead and add these two ribbons, but now I think I'm thinking I might add a red to the back, but I'm trying to figure out which red. Let me see what this looks like. I could add that, but then I don't think that looks good with that. So that's a no. <clears throat> or maybe we'll just go with these three colors. Just give it that little pop and then put this on top. It doesn't look red enough. So let me see here. It could even go to a blue. That may work because it's got the white in there. So let's go ahead and try that. I hope I'm seeing everybody's comments. Welcome. If you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. Billy already let us know she's watching from Georgia. Now when we decided on these button bows, which I showed how to put this together, okay, this was set up so we can put a zip tie through here, through this two middle holes, and capture our bow in there, and then if we want, we can even add greenery through here. So that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, hey, Catherine. Where's that? Houston? Cool. How do you say that? Is it Catherine? Am I pronouncing it right, Catherine? Alright, so we don't need a really... We don't need really long tails because we don't want the tails to kind of cover over the, um, the design. So, and we don't need a big bow for a door hanger. So I'm thinking we're going to do probably about four and a half. As we don't want it to overpower the design itself. And I think I'm going to do my three and have two loops on one side and two tails on the other. Am I doing this so you can see? Maybe I should kind of angle it this way. Is that better? I think that's better. All right. So, since my tails are over here, I am going to put my next set of tails over here. And I'm thinking my tails are like between 8 and 9 inches. So I want two loops, three loops total. So, we'll have one over here and two over here.
and then the other tail will come out here. And then this is also, oh good, because I didn't want to butcher that, <laughs> Catherine. This is also in my shop too. And I don't know if it showed up in the description. If it didn't, it will all be on my YouTube channel tomorrow because Restream messed me up again. So I'm going to go just a tiny bit shorter, just like maybe three quarters to a half inch shorter. I love this ribbon. It is so nice and stiff. There we go. Now we need a zip tie. Sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to zip tie this together and come up through the bottom. Actually, let me do this this way. Okay. I'm going to actually take this and come go down in the bottom hole and come out up the top through the top hole. So I'm setting the base to attach my um, bow in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this, zip tie this, which I always do better if I have pliers to pull it. That way I know I can get it really tight. Hey Bobby, hey Jeannie. Alright, so that's in place. So let's go ahead and do our dovetails. Actually, I want this a little bit shorter. This is still too long. How are you? How many watched me the first time when my Mevo went live by itself? <laughs> and then it drained the battery. Crazy things happen when you have a grandson in the house. For sure. I cannot get... Restream is a company that you're supposed to be able to stream live in two places, meaning Facebook and YouTube. And for the last four weeks, it has messed me up big time. Well, it's still messing me up because I couldn't get on again tonight. Now, I'm paying quite a bit of money to be able to do that because there are a lot of people that watch on YouTube and a lot of people that watch on Facebook. And it is has not worked right. <laughs> you did. Oh, cool. <laughs> I deleted it. I have no idea what was said. Oh, my gosh. I was so embarrassed because I'm like, what are they saying? Does she know she's alive? I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, I'm falling apart. My electronic equipment is... Oh, has it out for me. I think I'm going to go a little shorter on this. Well, I hope I didn't insult anybody. <laughs> That's my fear. Oh my gosh. Oh well, crap happens, right? I wanted to go see why. 
he just wants to go see Wyatt because he wants to get out of my sight so he can get into something. That's what he likes to do. That's that's George's son. And boy, he was he was in a lot of trouble when he got up. He got into some stuff he should not have gotten into. There. Because I kind of like things just kind of peeking out a little bit here and there. There we go. Alright, now all this is should be attached now with my little iron paper weights. He's adorable, let me tell you. He is adorable, but he is sneaky. <laughs> He's very smart for his age. He is a piece of work. Alright, so I think what we're going to do with this now is, and I don't even know if I'm going to go with this, but we're going to try it first. I don't know if I'm going to like this color peeking through. Although that's not bad, but it's not long enough. So, I had some other options. I thought this would look kind of nice peeking through. So let's just push some of it up and cut a piece and see what it looks like. And then, I even have not tried this yet, but I'm even thinking some of this. Although, maybe that, this might do better. Or, we ditch all that all together and just use that with some of the greenery. Let's just see what we can do here. I'm not liking that now that I have it in there. So that's not going back in there. But... I wish this was a little longer. Like about that long. I think some of this will work. It'll be longer. And I think I'll like this better than this. So. Because I just want to get a little softness and a little bit of color up here. So. This was meant to go in between the roping that we used. So let me just see if we can do anything with any of this. Now that doesn't have the weight. Kind of like that. I got this whole bunch of this that was on sale on Amazon and it was a whole box full of all this kind of, forget what you call this, stuff. You see just a little bit of that, a little touch of that just kind of popping through. A little bit delicate, so I'm gonna have to glue it and I'm gonna have to plug in my glue gun. So let's get another one of these out. Let's just get that and put that there and plug this in. Of course, can't reach it. Okay. Let's 
So when that heats up, we're going to kind of have those in there like that. What is this stuff called? I can't remember. And really, I don't think I like, I like the lighter leaves. I think I like more of the darker leaves. So, we're going to do some trimming here. And we're going to trim out the lighter leaves. And then we're going to get this one in here, the darker. And I can go a little shorter on this because I want it to go in further. going on here, don't I? But this is personalized, so when you order, you order with your name on there, and I sublimate that on there for you. Now see, if you didn't see me put the but button bow holder on, this is what it looks like. So what I'm actually doing is, when I'm pushing these in, I'm pushing them under the zip tie that's here to hold the bow, but under the the um, roping. Hello, Grandma. So that's what we're doing with this. So we're going to put a little hot glue on there. And what the button bow holder does is it holds your greenery in place and gives your bow something to hold on to. Something to give it some meat, so when it's up above here, it's all stationary on that. If you wanted to put another one of those felt pads here, you can. But really, the, the roping is going to keep it... The rope will be like above this, so this isn't going to be scratching anything either. Alright. So let's get some of these in here. Just as some natural little bit of different texture I just love that little fuzzy thing looks like a little rabbit's tail doesn't it no rabbits were harmed in the making of this <laughs> okay I'm not not saying Might have to just glue this to the wood. But see, that wood base gives me that option. That's what's so nice about the button bow holder. It just gives you a small plate to kind of put everything in its place and hold it neatly. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wasn't so funny earlier when my Mevo was live by itself, but what the heck, you'll have this. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, what is the name of this fuzzy stuff? Um, I actually 
got all that along with all this along with this along with this one and this was a whole bunch of this too this was all in a box all together for like 15 bucks because I had a customer that wanted a leaf wanted a wreath with that stuff And then she changed her mind after I bought it. Now, I'm going to add a fourth one. So I've got like an even, an odd number going on here. And I don't know. I might have to add another one of these on there. But I think I'm going to bring that upward and put that under kind of like that so it's like coming out of that that's what I think we'll do but you got this and the ribbon and this are all in my shop so and I posted yesterday we now have um, a catalog with all the personalized items the spoons and stuff like that, the children's shelf, you name it. We kind of did it this holiday season, so everything's in the catalog now. All right, now let's go ahead and untangle this awful mess. All right, I'm going to cut these off because I don't want the lighter color. And we're just going to remove those right now. There we go. And then we're going to get this. And on this side, underneath, I'm going to trim this just in case. And we can cut off more because it's going under in between the rope. And if you watch the beginning, you'll see how we attach the button bow holder to the to here. So we need this and we need another one. This in it. Just a little bit. So we're sliding that in there. There. And then glue in this one on top of that one. I want it full. And then where are the four? One, two, spread out a little bit there we go like that I think I'm only really going to go with two over here I think that's what we're doing down in a little more so we're gonna have to cut it and if I don't see your comments I will go back now that we got a smush though we got to do some surgery here It's only online 
the catalog. I put a link in my shop yesterday. If you click on the link, it will take you right there. I hit another knot, another level in Etsy, so the personalized stuff will only be sold over the phone. I mean, this is in the shop, but um, we have the personalized spoons, the doormats, um, the crocs, all kinds of stuff. And if you just click on that, it'll take you right to it, and you can scroll through the pictures. When you're in another level in Etsy, they take another chunk out of what what you're selling it for and I'm trying to keep most of the chunk for myself so that's what I did I feel like this needs something red in the middle but I don't know. Alright, so here we go. Let me tilt you up now without making you dizzy. There we go. So see there's the back of the button bow holder. So it's actually, this is what you're going to use to hang it on your door. This little loop up here. Here's where we attach the bow and then we had the rope that's on the other side of that to um, to hold the greenery. So everything stays right in the button bow holder. You know, I don't know if you've ever done one of these where you've put the bow up top and then you see how it just flops and gets all tangled. This is just like a little platform to hold that. And they're in the shop. I don't know if I want to put any of this in there. Let me just look and make sure. Rule it out, yes or no. Hey, Linda. How's my little girl? No, it, it kind of, it's okay, but it's, no. I like it just the way it is. <laughs> don't mess with it. Have you ever done that? Where you just start messing with it, and then you got a miserable mess. Sometimes simple, less is better. So, okay, let's just do that. I mean, I, I that's just simple enough for me. But there we go. And I may go ahead and, since this has quite a shine to it, I may go ahead and use the UV resin that we've used before and put the resin on the hearts. I'm sorry we had to go live again this way, but hopefully, 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 by the time next uh, my next live, which is Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Hopefully, I'm going to have all of this crap fixed by then. I thought I did have it all fixed. But evidently, it has a mind of its own. So I did not have it fixed. So there we go. Thanks. Thanks, Linda. Let's give my little girl some hugs. But there we go. Oops. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Don't you just love that little guy? Look at him and his striped leggings and the detail. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I've done enough damage for today with my with my lives. One attended, one unattended, and messed with this camera and restream. Uh, all right, you all have a great night, and I so appreciate you being here. You have no idea. All right, good night.